profitable, especially after the halving. And I've done the research. There have been other people who have done the research. Right now, it would take Riot platforms to break even second quarter. They would need 163,000 Bitcoin. And Bitcoin's now trading at like 55. So it hasn't been profitable because of the massive destruction of capital in the Bitcoin miners. I mean, in two years, they're basically toast. No bank on this planet would lend to the Bitcoin mining industry with that kind of capital destruction, which is why the problem is the Bitcoin miners had to, do, had to issue shares to fund business in the last three, four years. It's, it's like a, a sleight of hand. They have destroyed the shareholder value by issuing all these shares to get this money to continue the Bitcoin Ponzi scheme. And I really call it a Bitcoin Ponzi scheme. And so when you understand that, that's bad enough. It is a scam, I think, because not only are they looting the shareholder, because that's the only way they can get the funds to continue doing this, is they're, they're taking this money and they're also enriching themselves. Look at the stock-based compensation for these two companies, Riot and Marathon. These are the two largest in the United States. They just paid themselves $143 million in the first half of this year. And so I just wanted people to realize the mindset that we're facing about this peak oil. Because I'm, I'm with, with Simon. It's so frustrating because we're competing with the new high-tech religion of technology is going to solve all of our problems. And when I try to present this information, I get the same, the same negative feedback that Simon does. Some people who they're, they're either their mind is thinking correctly or they're not in it just to get a, a, a higher Bitcoin price. That's all it is. It's a speculation. And they really don't care. They don't really they don't realize that the Bitcoin mining industry that allows Bitcoin to function, I think if the price doesn't go up, it's going to disintegrate. I think the Bitcoin mining industry is going to collapse the public Bitcoin mining industry. And that's bad news for Bitcoin. And so I, I wanted to share that information because moving forward, uh, I think we're going to be dealing with this mentality until these this energy starts to become more scarce and the price goes up because there's no way, and I'll conclude here, there's no way we're going to be able to ramp up AI and data centers and, and Bitcoin mining. We're not going to really have the energy to do that in the next six years. So I think the rubber is going to start to hit the road here in the next several years. Yep. Simon? So, Steve, excellent presentation like always. So you know when you had that graph, you know when you had that graph with the depreciation of Bitcoin, where yes. the first right. Do you know my my brain likes patterns? What what jumped out of the screen uh, for me there? There is actually something else that deteriorate that, that depreciates exactly like that. Yep. I don't know if you know what I'm about to say, but it's like a um, a fracked oil well. Yes, production. it is. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you got it. Okay. All right. So yeah, I was going to say yeah. it was worse than fracked oil. <laughs> Yeah, but so, no, he's he, he's right, and I think I think they say Satoshi. He's the one that designed it, designed uh, Bitcoin. That's that's the suggestion. I I think he has no idea. He had no idea if this is true that he designed this. Uh, whoever designed it had no idea the long term implications of of mining Bitcoin as more proof of work. Uh, harder. I mean, it's half the amount of Bitcoin. In April 19th, these companies now get half the amount of Bitcoin for the same block. And that's going to happen another four years. They had no idea the tremendous amount of energy that was going to be needed to continue doing this. Again, I think they thought in the energy tooth fairy. And so now I think Bitcoin is going to hit the energy return on investment sooner than later. And what do you think will happen when that happens? This is speculation, uh, but there's there's an issue. There is a the problem is that the one thing people tell me, oh, Steve, you don't know what you're talking about. The the, uh, the difficulty adjustment will be adjusted lower, and that that's happened. The issue is when we, you get such a collapse in the public Bitcoin mining industry, I think that's coming. You're going to see so many Bitcoin miners just shut down. 
because it's not it's not really profitable for them to do it. And they've only done it by looting shareholders. When you start seeing those Bitcoin miners come offline, it's going to decrease the, the difficulty adjustment. And you know what? There is a problem called the Bitcoin security protocol. And if that if that gets too low, then enough Bitcoin entities that control enough of this Bitcoin hash hash rate, they can actually do a lot of hacking. It can get very unstable and no one is really considering this. So I, I just think in the future, more local and state government people uh, are going to get involved and they're going to realize this is just a waste of power. It's a tapeworm on the grid and it really doesn't provide any social value. So I, I think that's coming too. Okay. Yeah, that 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 was really great presentation. And yeah, I just wanted to add because I know that the uh, BRICS nations were thinking of doing a cryptocurrency, but my understanding is it's not a proof of work, but it would be like a permission based or uh, something right. like that, like a different kind Correct. of system that's not so energy intensive. Okay. So Steve, do you think that um, crashing Bitcoin would have a, an effect on the broader 